Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at the main part of any robot, actuator. And here I have a very powerful actuator from Umbra Tech company. They currently have a successful Kickstarter campaign where they sell robot arms based on these actuators. And also they sell actuators themselves. Just quick disclaimer, Umbra Tech sent me this actuator for free, but they don't pay me for the review, so I can say positive or negative stuff about this actuator and they don't have any influence on me. This is actuator from the ADRA HR series. I have no idea what this stands for. But it features a high torque, high precision, high performance, lightweight and built-in multi-turn absolute encoder. Let's look at some main parameters of this beast. According to the model number, this is a lightweight standard type with a diameter 72 mm, maximum torque 110 newton meters, ratio 100. It has the RS485 interface, normal type encoder, hollow shaft, brake, and there is no torque sensor. And here some technical data of this actuator. It uses 48 volts, 300 watts. The maximum torque is 110, the rated torque is 60 newton meters. This is the rated speed and the current. It has a really low backlash. As a feedback, you have the position, speed, current, voltage and temperature. And you can operate this actuator in the torque velocity or position mode. The weight of this actuator is 1.45 kilos. So let's open this box and look closely at this actuator. Some foam, actuator itself, cables. And this is our actuator, it's quite heavy. As you can see, it's hollow shaft. This is the output with the eight M6 screw holes. It can be fixed with these holes over here, yeah. So this is a reducer, harmonic reducer. Over here there is a motor. I think that's why there is this heatsink. And over here there is a brake and also the controller. So what is nice is that this actuator features electromagnetic brake. I never worked before with the actuator with electromagnetic brake. Over here there is a connectors. There is the two connectors for the power, RS485, RS485, and this one is for the battery. I suppose you need this battery for the multi-turn encoder. And I also prepared some 3D printed parts, we will need them for the test. And this is my power supply, 48 volts, 400 watts. Also Umbratec sent me this box, which contains this o-ring for the shaft, I suppose that this is for the shaft. I think this is a small battery for the actuator for the multi-turn encoder and also the small USB RS485 adapter. So let's now install this actuator over here and I'm going to fix it with the screws and with the nuts. And here's the other screws. So now it stands and it's going to be easy to work with it like this. I'm going to use this small adapter for the power. RS485, battery goes here. I actually like the fact that the battery is outside. Power supply goes on. Now we can launch the Umbratec Assistant. Connect. The first time when you switch it on, you would need to do the calibration of the multi-turn encoder position. And after this, everything should work. So let's stay in the position mode and let's try to move it. When we enable the motor, the brake is released. By the way, here we can watch the current velocity and the position. Now let's change the position. The position 1000. And back to zero. Cool, it looks like everything is working. The actuator works and we can continue with our tests. First of all, I would like to attach the long arm to the output shaft of this actuator to see the play, to estimate the backlash. And at the same time, with this long arm, I would like to see how the brake works, the electromagnetic brake. Because this is the first actuator on this channel with electromagnetic brake. With any brake, actually. <laughs> so I'm really curious how it works. Let's now enable the motor. When I push this arm, I can see the change in the torque. And when I pull it, 
the torque goes positive and when I push it the torque goes negative. So there is kind of measurements of the torque. Works fine. Right now the motor is disabled, but the electromagnetic brake is enabled. So electromagnetic is breaking the shaft of the motor. And so I cannot really back drive this actuator. Let me now disable the brake. And I can back drive this actuator. It's not easily back drivable because there is a high reduction ratio of 100, but still it's back drivable. And if I enable the brake again, it's still rigid and does not move anywhere. Nice! Now let's estimate the backlash by measuring the play at the end of this arm. For this I need to enable the actuator and disable the brake. In the Umbra Tech Assistant program it's uh, made automatically. When you enable the motor the brake is disabled. So now the motor is enabled, brake disabled. I cannot measure any play and it's uh, really rigid actually. I will extend this arm a little bit, maybe with the longer arm I will see some play and backlash. Let's check the play again, so for this I will enable the actuator and disable the brake. There is no any noticeable play, there is a flex and I think most of this flex comes from my 3D printed parts. And now it's time to test the torque from this actuator using our torque machine. So this is a central piece, this is electromagnetic powder brake. And this is a torque meter. So the actuator should be fixed between the torque meter and this shaft. In order to install our actuator over here, I have 3D printed this piece, which replaces this one. And also I have 3D printed this big case, which will go over here. So this piece is going to be installed over here and I'm going to fix it with these super long screws to this piece which has these standoffs. Like this basically I will have this screw through entire length of this plastic piece and I hope this will make this piece a little stronger. Because as this actuator can go up to 60 Newton meter rated torque I'm just afraid that the plastic parts are going to fail so that's why I'm going to like make extra measure in order to make it super solid. The actuator is installed and we're ready for the test. Here I can change the force with which powder electromagnetic brake is going to break. So 0 0.6, go. 27 Newton meters. Now let's go to the 0 0.7, go. 34 Newton meters, 36 Newton meters, 0 0.8, go. 39 Newton meters, 40 Newton meters. Now 0 0.9, go. Okay, let's try one more point. One. This is absolute maximum of this uh, electromagnetic powder brake. Forty nine Newton meters. This is the maximum torque which I can measure with this torque machine, and this actuator handles quite well. Now instead of Windows PC I have connected this actuator to the Raspberry Pi and I will try to control this actuator using the Python module. This is a very simple program which I wrote. At the beginning I import some modules. After I import the module for the actuator. This is a serial connection. We use the actuator with the ID 1. We set the motion mode 1. We enable this actuator and after we move this actuator in the sinusoidal way using this set pause target. Afterwards we just print the temperature of this motor and we disable the motor. So let's see how it works. 
Go. And this is how the Python module works. So there is acceleration, deceleration, and etc. in the sinusoidal way. And this simple example shows how easy it is to use this Python module. Also, Umbratech, they developed the Arduino module for this actuator. I'm not going to test it right now, but uh, if the Python module works, I don't see any reason why the Arduino module would not work. Overall, I really like this actuator. It's high precision, high torque, and also it has the pro features like multi-turn encoder and also electromagnetic brake. For the precision, we looked at the backlash and it's really, really tiny. This is a normal because this actuator uses a harmonic drive reducer. Also, we looked at the torque and I was able to test the torque up to 45, maybe 50 newton meters. And unfortunately, I was not able to go beyond this value because my torque machine does not allow me. The maximum torque which it can handle is 50 newton meters. And this small guy can handle up to 60 newton meters rated torque. And in peak torque, it can go up to 110 newton meters. We have also tested the electromagnetic brake. It works perfectly fine. This was really interesting for me because this is the first time when I'm testing this feature. You can control this actuator either with the Umbratech assistant software or with the Python module or with Arduino module. And I should say that this Python module and Arduino modules, they are straightforward and easy to use. I know that many of my viewers are going to say that this is really expensive actuator. I don't agree with this because this actuator is maybe three or five times less expensive than most of the similar actuators from other companies. So if you need a traditional actuator with a high reduction ratio, I think this is a really, really nice candidate and with the pro capabilities like electromagnetic brake. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to put the like to this video. Don't forget to put one or several comments. And also I would like to say a huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here's their names. Thank you guys and girls. You are the best. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.